And in case you're wondering how this connects to debate and formatting, there's a very similar tactic that happens when you're using verbatim. So the first formatting keyboard shortcut that you should be recognizing and should be pretty familiar with is the pocket option. The pocket is activated when you press F4 on your keyboard and something like this happens on your computer screen. So you may be wondering what this is different from this. Well, if you're looking at the sidebar over here, also known as the navigation pane, you would see that this pops up when you hit the F4 pocket button. And that enables you to not only organize your files, but sort of like the Russian doll, we will treat the pocket as the biggest Russian doll because it's where everything in every single other Russian doll fits inside this big one. And in order for you to see the navigation pane, you would go to the view option and then you would click on the navigation pane up here. And then you would go on to the document map, which is where you're going to see all of the titles and all of the sort of Russian dolls as we have discussed before. The second largest Russian doll is also known as the hat. The hat is activated when you press the F5 button on your laptop, and that is the second to largest Russian doll on your document, and it fits inside the biggest one. The biggest one being the pocket, the next one being the hat. Subsequently, when you press F6, F6 on Mac is a little bit tricky, so you would have to just press the F6 block button on the debate verbatim shortcut map over here, and that would trigger the F6 block sidebar. Over here, you would see it. So as you've seen on the navigation pane, the biggest Russian doll is at the top, the next biggest one is over here, and then everything fits inside of one another. So something that is really good with verbatim is that you can easily collapse everything into the biggest one. Or if you want to collapse everything into the hat, you would press that. And if you want to just stay inside the framework or the block page, then you would just leave it over there. Now, the fourth Russian doll is the F7 button, which is the tag. If you press that, the tag would fit under the block, the block would fit under the hat, the hat would fit under the pocket, as you can see over here. So everything is like a pyramid. Everything fits in one another, and you can collapse one into another. And when you reopen it, you can reopen it like a staircase. So these are the four things that you should be very comfortable with when you're trying to format your documents using the navigation pane, because these four formatting options are the only formatting keyboard shortcuts that open up on the other ones. The next six that we're going to talk about are not going to show up on the sidebar because these are too detailed or if these also show up in the navigation pane, then the navigation pane is just going to turn into our document. So you want to simplify it as much as possible. So all of these things would not show up here. So the only thing that you would use to show up on your navigation pane is these four. The pocket, which is F4, hat, which is F5, block, which is F6, and the tag, which is F7. Now let's go to the cards or the body text. So for the citation, when you were reading your card, you would say the tagline, and then you would say the citation or the site. You would not say the publication, qualifications, the title of the article, date, URL, or even your initials. These are solely for your own reference or even your judges. But this is the only thing that you need to say when you're reciting a card. And so this will be triggered by using the F8 button, which is the cite button. Next, considering that that is your citation, you would move on to your body text. So when you're reading through an article, the first thing that you should do is by using the underline button to see any preliminary things that you see and think that are really important. So you would underline different articles rather than doing control U or command U, you would press the F9 button that would enable you to underline a specific portion of text. Next, if you want to bold and underline, as opposed to hitting control or command U and control and command B, you would only press the F10 button, which enables you to both bold and underline. And lastly, let's say that this is your third time reading through your selected body of text and you want to highlight things that you want to say in your round. Rather than going all the way to home and then pressing this button and manually highlighting everything, you would simply 
highlight or choose the things that you want to highlight, and then press the F11 button. In my opinion, the highlight button is the most helpful because you don't have to do it manually. For example, it's a nightmare for you to press this, activate the highlighter, and individually highlight everything. That is extremely not efficient. And so what you want to do is just simply hit the F11 button, then you will be able to de-highlight and highlight everything with ease. So let's say that you've highlighted everything on your body text that you want to read. Right now, the entire card looks very weird because all of this is spaced out with one another and it doesn't look visually appealing. So what you want to do is you want to highlight and select the card and everything under that card and then you would press the F3 button that enables you to condense everything into one big paragraph. And then lastly, this is also very helpful, is the shrink button. The shrink is not here included in this particular map, but it is included in here. So another keyboard shortcut that you could use is Control or Command-8. If you're on MacBook, you would use Command-8. And what happens is that when you press Command-8, everything that isn't underlined is going to automatically defer down to 8-point font, while the rest of your highlighted, emphasized, and underlined things are going to stay at 11-point font. So this is the gist of how you should format all of your documents. Let's say that this is your framework. Then you would go down, copy and paste the block F6, and maybe add a contention. And here you would add a bunch of cards that essentially make up your contention. And so here you would have the framework, the cards under that framework, contention, and the cards under your contention. If you're feeling that everything should be much more simplified, you would pr simply press the hat button and then everything would collapse into hat.